Hello, we're just here in Valley de Hob again, and this is the statue, Dana Mahoney, the famous statue that we were all here uh, 23 years ago to unveil. And, and uh, I remember a story of when I was back in London, uh, back in Wellington, in Shepherd Coast. And uh, one evening, one evening after, with a fairly long night, and I stayed back for afters in the pub. Now in the pub there was a man called Gerald Egan. Uh, we all heard about the big yanks that came back with the big car and got stuck in a ditch just outside Valley de Hall. And Dan O'Mahony, this man here, lifted the, his uh, Model A it was, and it was uh, a car, a bit like a car I have myself now, I have a Model B. Same. But he lifted the car out of the ditch anyway, the big strong man, and the Yank, supposedly the Yank, brought him back to America and made him the wrestler that he was. They came back about a year later, himself to Steve Casey, and the wrestling all over Ireland. But this man was Gerald Egan, he was a Cork City man, not a big Yank. A, We've all been led to believe, but he was a, a Cork City man, and he was uh, he was as gay as any man uh, ever lived in Ireland. He was a bit like um, he was a bit like Danny Larue and uh, uh, what you call that guy who used to play the piano. Uh, I can't think of his name now. He's be all flash and nice clothes and all that kind of thing. He was bad for chat, and he told me to tell, kind of after drinks in Wellington. He said to me, he travelled Ireland with two wrestlers, and uh, Dan O'Mahony and Steve Casey. And he said, um, he was the man. So he was the referee, he was Copeland as the referee. So when they went to, if they were in Cork, Dan O'Mahony couldn't win in Cork. He was told by, this man, uh, Gerald Egan, told him that he's only really allowed to win in Kerry. And the other man was told the same. So they'd pull in their pub, they'd come in their own car, in around the back, and they'd get in the ring. Gerald Egan would have been the referee. Gerald Egan would call the shots. He'd get between them, by the way, he'd be breaking them up. And he'd be telling what to do next. And that's the way the show was. They were showmen. There's nothing wrong with what I'm saying. They were good showmen, but they were not wrestlers. Oh, no. Okay, fine.